Heavens no! No one's seen you for hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian on the street... What are we going to do, Arthur? Nobody's having nightmares over that. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. The wonders what life's like outside the tube. Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. That would break it for everybody. What 
whatever happened to you, Prudence? You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? in our work now that you mention it. the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Smash it! Go on, smash it, silly face off! You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Oh, Call security. Down. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Totally thoughtful of them. Yeah, right. 
regular, wonderful, ordinary, spectacular day. But of course, we'll interrupt the day because well, we love to do that <laughs> with our daily recreational activity. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit today? down. Well, how about Simon Says? I love Simon Says, don't you? It's been too long since we've played it, hasn't it? Now, I'm a bit vague about the details. No, really. So, I think we ought to play today, just to be sure. Well, you could never be too careful. So that's three. <laughs> Prudence really did run off. She ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who? going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I... I promise. But... but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Made your bed, Arthur, haven't you? fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school.
about I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. Parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. Nights. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. Kids on the train. Maybe I should make some bandages just in case. A crib. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. When was the last time there was a baby in Wellington Wales? Like they couldn't remember their faces. Or they couldn't stand remembering them. Tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. A toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything locked. Aha, but I remember how to make a lock pick.
A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? I ought to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? Rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Nice scent. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house? When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Hard to believe people fast on purpose. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. I'll find a cleverer way in.
Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. We'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Original. Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. 